Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and watching my video, I had a lot of headaches and a lot of trouble trying to find a CMOS battery on this stupid laptop, it's a Compaq 8510P and I'm going to show you what you need to do, it's actually quite easy, I took off all these fucking screws for no reason, um, but anyway, here we go, now you have two screws, one is over there, that has a, um, a keyboard picture next to it, so you unscrew this all, all the way you can, don't take the screw out, just leave it in there, and one is over here. <coughs> And then you've got three screws, which are located at one, two, and three. Turn the laptop over. <coughs> okay. You take the keyboard off. It's very simple. You've got four latches. So you push them back. One, two, three, four. And the, lap and the keyboard should just come out okay you know you don't have to take the the ribbon off just leave the ribbon there watch out for this because I fucking might have damaged mine because the picture's not showing the this feels like there's no brightness in the screen it just goes all dark that's why I had to pull it back apart again and see what's the problem anyway watch out for that now the three screws that we took at the back actually holds this holds this uh, plastic cover. So you just put a little um, screwdriver and this comes off. Before you take it off, tilt your screen all the way back so these latches can come off nice and easy. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about the power button. There's no cable or anything stuck to it. There's a clip there. Come on you bastard. Just a second guys. Yeah, I think this screw here might be holding it too. Just, I'm going to have a look. Just a second. Okay, so yeah. That screw there was holding it as well. So as you can see, the cover just comes off. So, I think that was the screw that was holding at the back in the corner. That's the power button, so you don't have to worry about the power button, there's no cables attached to anything. And your CMOS battery is right over here. And there's a clip over there. So you just take the clip off, take the CMOS battery, replace it with a new one, put some tape around it and put it back in there. And put everything back and you should be alright to go. But like I said, just watch out for that cable, the ribbon cable over there, because I think I might have damaged mine. Um, but yeah, it's all good. Hope it works out for you guys.